Hi, this is Robert Bolaños. Uh, this is a update to the measuring the negative resistance of a power supply. I'm uh, just going to go real quickly. Uh, on this video, I define what negative resistance. I went through the mathematics, which you see here, and some more derivation, and then you end up with the, uh, uh, at the end, with this equation. Okay, and then I showed a example of the power supply that I'm measuring, which is a little uh, flyback, a, and I ended up with the uh, negative resistance of uh, 68.9 ohms. So that would be the input impedance of my flyback converter. And then I showed the pieces of equipment that I needed uh, to measure, and I'm using the Omnicron Lab Body 100 and the Pico Test. I talked about the Pico Test, and then I showed how I have to break the line. Basically, I want to measure the converter itself, the Z input, and I also mentioned that the Z output of the input filter has to be much less than the input impedance of the converter. So this is the middle board criteria. So show how to connect and so forth. But here's the main question that most people are asking. Okay, so the main question is why go through the trouble of measuring the negative input resistance of a power supply? So my response would be that by measuring the negative input impedance you can validate your switching model. Okay, so that's one thing. So you would have a switching model. And, and once you also have your negative input impedance and it's measured, then you can make a simplified input filter model and you can insert the negative resistance to simulate or to model the switching model. Okay, well, so what does this mean? So that's what I wanted to show. Okay, so I'll talk about this is uh, microcap, and this is the switching model of my converter. Here's the re output resistance that I had uh, specified, and right here, this is your my input filter so I have these which is 15 micro 15 micro and then these are the ESR and let me go ahead and put this define it give it a, a more realistic I'll say that it's 23 milli ohms for the ESR so it would be 23 milli ohms for all four of these so these are the actual uh, filter uh, the 100 micro and these two in parallel which is the 15 and 15 and then this network here with the resistor here is uh, my uh, damping circuit so basically this is your switch switching model and this is your input filter so what I did is I labeled my bus okay and I'm gonna go ahead and plot that voltage okay so these are the output voltage simulating up on top and then this is your V bus and if you notice this is the V bus it's stamped very well Okay. Okay. So let's make this a little bit more uh, less damped. And one way of making it less damp is by increasing the value of this resistor. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to 5.6. And I am going to rerun the simulation and VBUS is right here okay and if you notice it's got some more ringing now it's got approximately one two three 
approximately a queue of uh, about three three cycles so you can say a queue of three okay so now you can use this model to check your Middlebrook criteria or you can simplify it you can basically copy this section which is what I did here right here I copied that section and let me change this to match what I have 5.6 and then remember that I calculated that the input impedance would be 68 ohms well what you can do is this single resistor you type in negative 68 and this will model your switching model switching model of flyback okay okay so what I'm saying now is that let's see if I can move this okay so that resistor models all of this okay so I'm going to try and prove it so this note uh, I'm going to call it Vache because this is in Vache's book this is a method that he uses to check the Middlebrook criteria okay and now I'm going to go ahead and enable the plot now if you look in here on the bottom if you notice it's a match so the red is a switching model but the green which is under which is on top of it is matching basically it is right on top so let me go ahead and delete this so you can see this a little bit better okay and let me let's see if I can uh, ex okay I should be able to move it hopefully okay see so you can see the red is the switching model which is VBUS and then the green is the Vacha model so basically by using a single negative resistor you can model very simply model the entire circuit basically in other words this circuit will mimic all of this okay so that's the power of being able to measure the negative resistance in that you don't have to do a switching model all you have to do is do your input filter and if you know what your negative resistance is put a resistor here and you can verify that your uh, middle brook criteria is being uh, 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 satisfied anyway uh, that's what I wanted to show I think it's a very important concept it's something that uh, uh, you may or may not know but uh, this is something that uh, uh, I've used and it's very helpful in uh, giving a quick uh, check on your input filter to see if it's uh, working or not or at least satisfying the middle group if you have any questions feel free to send them to my email or post them here on YouTube thank you for watching